Hello, my name is Fiona Stanton from Fees Papercraft. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Deli Delicata, Delicata, Delic I can't say it. These are rich pigment inks um, from, I think from Versafine, from Tuskindo, yeah, the same people that make Versafine and Versa, Versamark. And these are metallic shimmer inks. They've been around for a while, but they've just been put into the Stampin' Up! Autumn catalogue this year. So they're new to Stampin' Up! But they're not new products in terms of the world. And um, so those are the ink refills. I've also got the ink pads. Now I've only got the silver and the gold at the moment. I haven't got the Celestial Copper. I'm waiting for that one to arrive. That's on back order. So I wanted to show you a couple of things that I have been doing with them. And one particular technique. Now I will link below the... Um, nay the, the the youtube video where i saw this technique first of all i can't remember her name off the top of my head she wasn't using stamping up products she was using ink but she was doing ink uh doodles of ink and i wanted to see whether i could do the same thing with stamping up products and i could so i'll get to that in a minute but first of all a couple of ideas for you so this is from the come to gather bundle this is one of the leaves and what i've done here is I have smooshed the or rubbed the dye with the silver ink and then ran it through the die cutting machine and that's when you get this kind of silvery background so it's quite nice and we also did it with a gold one let me show you the card with the gold one on it you can see it's slightly more subtle with the gold so that's quite nice um, so you can do that for all your dies. You can do that with any ink as well either so you can rub it onto your dies and run it through and the same with your embossing folders as well then I um I, I mix them with a little bit of water and try smooshing them on the mat. Now you can see it's got a great shimmer to it. It's lovely. So that's a mixture of the gold and the copper. And then we've got um the gold, we've got all three of them, gold, copper, and silver there. Now they're not water-based products, so it didn't work tremendously well. And in fact, you can see on this one that it kind of separates a bit. You can see the copper there. You've got the watermark underneath. I mean, this isn't watercolour card, this is just the ordinary uh whisper white thin. Um, so you can see it's slightly separated, but I hope you can see the kind of the glint. Ignore that there was green left on my mat. So that is meant to be the gold, but there was green on the mat when I did the smooshing. So it is a great um, uh, thing, and also you can you can colour the wood elements as well. So this is from the to get, come together suite as well. Um, wooden elements, you get feathers and logs. So you can see it will cover. I did a mixture of the silver, gold, and copper again, just using a flat brush just to go over. Um, what I do, I put these onto a palette or, or onto a, a glass mat brush and just brush it over as it is. I don't need to water it down at all. So that's on the white side because these have got two sides. I've got like a white side and the wood side. And then that's um, on the plain wood side. So you can see they take to wood and various uh, materials quite well. So the technique I wanted to show you, uh, or this is a card I've made. So this is mixing the inks with um uh, ordinary ink refills from stamping up so we've got knight of navy uh bermuda bay and i think that's flirty flamingo and then i've mixed some of the the ink refills in with the i've mixed the ink refills together basically and then painted on top so the image is stamped in black um stays on and then i've gone over and inked and and colored in with the ink itself with the moments with the delicata ink so this is a technique i saw from um on youtube and like i said it'll be linked below where i saw the idea from so i thought we'd replicate that and show you how i've done that so we're doing a slightly different card because i'm going to be doing um a more wintry card so i'll be using a white white background so first of all what we're going to do is just put our ink refills into our palette and i've got a whole mixture of colors here probably more than i did before so a little bit of night of navy I'll link all the products below. This is Pineapple Punch. You don't really need much ink. So they'll be slightly different colours. You're going to get a bit mucky. This is Call Me Clover. Because I like that. It's a nice bright green. Having said that, what I am going to do, this is grey granite. So I'm going to, let me put this over here. I'm going to mix a bit of the grey granite in with each colour. Um, just to keep it... Just to mute the colour down a little bit so it's not too bright. This is Pear Pizzazz. And Calypso Coral. I 
I do like using ink refills. I think they're a really good um, thing to use. And then this is Bermuda Bay, one of my favourite colours. I wasn't going to use it because I use it in everything, but I thought, hey ho, what? Why not? And then now my spritzer is all clogged up, so I'll add some water to each one. So I think we will use the gold again because I like the gold. And the silver. Right. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the grey. Just mix it in there. Just to dull that down a bit. And then obviously with the yellow we'll use some gold. Because that would be sensible. And just mix in. Like I said they're not really water based. I'm not going to mix perfectly well but it mixes enough for you to be able to lay it down and you can see in the sample i showed you the shimmer was on top it's not like it's um kind of an all over shimmer and then we just lay it down we can go over a couple of times make a nice kind of lozenge i'm not an artist so it is a bit kind of hit and miss in me sometimes So you don't really need much of anything. This is watercolour card, I should say, that I'm using. Because I want to be able to really spray, lay on the colour and get a nice kind of effect. And I hope you can see that shimmer. So I've just sped this section up because I'm just um, colouring out the different areas. first colour I used there was Pineapple Punch. We're now using Call Me Clover. I think there is some Calypso Coral next. Pear Pizzazz, Bermuda Bay and Night and Navy is the last one. And I either mixed them with the gold or the silver metallic inks to give it the shimmer. I've also added a little bit of grey granite into the colours. And this just knocks the colour back a bit, knocks the brightness out of it. And it works quite well with the metallic inks. You have to let me know which one you think is your favourite. I love the fact that we can paint with these. There we go. 
Oh, that's going to be nice and dark. Well, I suppose the issue if it's too dark, you won't be able to see the stays on, on it. So I might have to just lift. Just use your tissue and just lift. I might lift that like that and then just go and that will semi. And that is the first stage, really. And we just let these dry. You need to make sure they are completely dry because we're going to be stamping on them and repainting with them. So we want to make sure it is completely dry. So I'd give it a good hour or so because it's not just the um, the top layer. It's all the way through the card that you want to make sure is dry. And then we can have a look at them later. But in the meantime, just so you can see what I'm going to be doing. These are kind of some of the finished examples that we're doing. And I hope you can see all that sparkle in there. It is such a lovely shimmer ink, these. I'm really sorry, I thought my video was recording and it wasn't. So, we are doing a variation of this card. But we're going to do it more winter themed. We've stamped some images out and we used the frosted foliage stamp set. And we used stays on ink. There you go. And the stays on ink won't mix, so it should be okay. So I'll just see if I can, hopefully you can see the glimmer and the glitter in there we're using the ones with the silver background uh, rather than the gold and i'm using some silver and metallic ink and i'm just going to dib dab it on if you look in the description box i'll have a link to a video of a lady who um inspired me for this video um, I'm really sorry, I can't remember her name at the moment, but I will get her link and put it down below. Um, and she she hasn't used stamps, she has drawn, she's an excellent artist. Um, I've used stamps because I can't draw. Um, but she um, gave me the inspiration for this video. In fact, uh, I mean, her images are almost the same. She's drawn um, watercolour boxes with watercolour paints, watered down, and then coloured in with... Um, the um uh, with metallic paint i think rather than ink i'm not too sure what she used um but you can see in the video and that's where i drew my inspiration for this this is nice kind of mindful arts and crafts it's what i like taking my time Doing something that maybe I wouldn't have thought of doing with stamps. Making a bit more. I know sometimes people think, oh, stamps are just, they're not you drawing, are they? They're not you being artistic. You're just stamping down. and But you are, you are being artistic with them. And now I'm going to put some copper on, I think. I have to say, out of the metallics, the copper is my favourite. So this way I feel like I am being slightly more artistic and original, doing something different with our supplies. Just sinking outside the box a little. I hope you appreciate it and certainly check out the lady who um, inspired me down below because her, her videos are amazing. Really simple ways to get creative, to get artistic without worrying about can I do it, can't I do it. And you have to let me know which one you think is going to be your favourite of these inks. And uh, also let me know how you are using them. Okay. So. That bit is done. They won't take long to dry. Move that out though if I spill that everywhere. That's my normal trick. I'll just take the ink off my brush before I put that away. So we'll leave those to dry a little. They won't, like I said, they won't take long. Hope you can see how that really adds 
that's the effect right what we will do then we will stamp the greeting on shall we stamp the greeting on no i think i'm going to have to cut these out first before we can stamp the greeting on i was going to wait a little bit make sure they were dried but i'll risk it <coughs> uh before i do that i'm just going to get so this is just the black stamping right marker I have to take my glasses off for this, otherwise I'll never get it straight. Excuse my head if you see my head. I'm just going to go around. The edges as neat as possible. And I think this just finishes the lozenges off, if you see what I mean, or the panels, whatever it is you want to call them. Just trying to be careful so I don't put my hand in the paint. Then again, my glasses off because I can't see very well. We will just cut these out. So those are our shapes. And oh, that could. Then we have Merry Christmas there. I think I'll do Merry Christmas in Bermuda Bay. as well i don't know how well this will go but we'll do it let's be brave let me just put some oh, which one's been moved away that one's been moved away oops too much I always put too much in never mind we'll get a flat brush i don't want it too heavy anyway Mix up this pigment so we get some of the silver in there as well. This pigment always, um, the silver, the metallic inks will always sink to the bottom. Okay, now let's see how well this goes. This could go disastrously wrong. That's not too bad. Right, that's enough. And I'll clean that up later on. And wash that brush out. Right. And this is an watercolour card, but we'll just give that a quick dry. Right. And I'm hoping that because we used that, we're going to have, yeah, we do some little silver sparkles there. So that just gives it a bit more um, dimension. Mm. I'll keep it like that. So I'm just playing, just trying to work out how I want these. And I think I'll put them on dimensionals. Give them a little, raise them up a little. So what I'll do first of all then is get this on here. And onto the card blank. 
and all we need to do is stick a sentiment in the center if you so wish one so like i said this is quite a narrow i didn't want to take away from the card from the elements see if i can push it into place there you go so that's quite a narrow border as you can see the clip uh, the quite clips like coastal cabana that's what it is I really thought I'd done that, so it was, um, never mind. I think I will stick that one first. I should really lay these out so then we can judge distances better. But hey ho, we're not. So that. Let's just think about what we want to go in the middle. We'll use sentiment from the frosted foliage. There we go. Getting glue everywhere. And there we go. So that's the finished cu finished card. That was the one I did uh, earlier. And then inside. So that's using the new metallic inks with the regular ink refills, mix them together and creating kind of watercolour panels, stamping with stays on ink and painting in with those inks as well. Uh, link the please look below in the box for the link to the lady who first did this technique and my images are almost identical to what she's drawn she did it by hand drawing i've done it by stamping um so please see the link below many thanks my name's been fiona stanton from fees papercraft <laughs>